Hey guys, it's Dr. Robotnik64, and this is sort of a special Mother 3 video right here. Um, as you probably know already, I have completed Mother 3, and now I'm just showing you off a, uh, well, a hidden feature in this game, which is the debug room. So yeah, the debug room can only be accessed uh, via a cheat. As you can see, I have the cheat list right here. That's the cheats for the debug room. And I have some other cheats on here as well, like always get 16 hit combos and whatnot, so yeah. But this is basically the debug room, as you can see you have Hinawa, Porky, Ionia, Clayman, you got Lucas's clone right here, and Duster's clone as well, got the Mr. Saturns, all the pig masks as well. So here you can talk to the pig masks, configure your party, you put Salsa in your party, you put Wes in your party, Okay, apparently it doesn't allow you to put more than five people, it seems. But yeah, as you can see, I have Klaus in my party as well, so yeah. Um, turn Klaus off. How about we put in Flint? There we go. So now we have Flint in here. That's pretty good. The pig mask captain over here, if you talk to him, can change, their, change the, that character's level. Level 99 maximum. The navy squeal, get item nut. Basically gives you uh, a nut. Pig Mask Major, Fade Check, different types of fades. Well, that was strange. Boss Battle. Yeah, so there's a bunch of fades anyway, so there you go. Just end. What does the pig mask kernel have to say? Turn on all memo flags and obtain all maps. I have no idea what that does actually, to be honest. That cast thing right there, you can basically check it to view the cast of Mother 3 again. So like Lucas and Kumator's ages, kids. As you can see, Lucas is shorter. And so is Kumatora. So as you can see, Kumatora is also a bit taller. There's no music all of a sudden. Mr. Saturns. You can start from different chapters, basically. This one will start you from chapters 1 to 3. What does Flint do again? Yeah, you can also have the event selection as well. If you want to go to a certain point in the chapter. <coughs> um, there's not even anything there, okay. Event selection. To 100 floor. Okay. Uh, what does Hanawa do? Play the ending? No. Yeah, by the way, there was also a, uh, an enemy there. You can also change the enemies using cheats, but... Darn it, I no, don't want to do that. Just walk into him, like this! Back attack! Yeah, so there's level 99, for goodness sakes. Forget it, I'm taking him out with top spec Omega. Everybody else guard. Done. Yeah. You get some nut bread as well. And I can't carry any more stuff. Yes, go with the nut bread, so yeah. You can actually change that enemy though, so hold on. Okay, like this one for instance. This one I found actually uh, kind of interesting. Or maybe not, I don't know. But basically, you snuck up on Empty from behind. Basically, what you do... Yeah, by the way, I also have that cheat on as well. Oh, feeling the rhythm. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, basically... Wow, okay. Then Lucas can attack. But basically, the Empty thing, I found out he basically does no damage to you whatsoever. Doesn't even attack, so... Yeah, it's just an empty slot. Kind of strange, but yeah. Actually, I didn't even show off Starstorm yet. Might as well just do that. Starstorm. Yeah, there you go. 826. So basically, he has infinite HP as well. So, yeah. Basically what that is. And then we have Flame 1. So yeah, this is basically all of the unused enemies. So we have Flame 1, whatever the heck Flame 1 was a, was originally supposed to be. So 
than all of these things right here. So I basically have all of the uh, attacks that you can have here, basically. So I'm just base I'm just having fun with this. Basically showing this off for people who didn't know that this even existed before. That's pretty much the only thing I'm doing. Flame 1 fell over. Okay, that actually works. Con his body turned numb. Fell over and can't move. So wait, can we... Darn, we can actually get rid of him, but he doesn't give us any experience points. So yeah, that's most of the unused enemies, basically, but that was... That was kind of strange. Let's try another one. Who do we have now? We have the Lotus Root. Okay, so apparently you were originally supposed to battle the Lotus Root, it seemed, but I guess not. Not in the official version of the game. How about we just guard just to see what he does? This looks like a face. Oh, he doesn't do anything. Okay. Never mind then. Okay, but according to this, looks like he was originally going to be an enemy. Why else would it say Lotus Root on it? Alright, how about this one? This is an unworked clay. Okay. <clears throat> Once again, probably doesn't do anything. Oh darn, it does do something. Oh jeez, okay. Wow, it actually attacks. An unused enemy that actually attacks. That's pretty interesting. Feel the rhythm, Boney. Actually, there's not really any rhythm there, but forget it. Okay. So I guess that was originally going to be an enemy. As you can see, they don't have any sprites, so I guess they never created sprites for them, I guess. So yeah. We're battling an explosion, really. Pretty miniature explosion, if I do say so myself. Explosion, let out a scream. Oh my goodness, okay, yeah, I guess they... Okay, yeah, I guess they can attack you. That is quite a bit of damage. Yeah, they have quite a bit of HP. There was E5. That's very weird. Alright, let's see about this then. Light blade suddenly attack, and there's not even any background. And the what the heck is this? This is a trippy background all of a sudden. Okay, that was strange. All right, uh, actually, real quick, I want to show you what the what the cheats I'm using using actually are to get these basically unused enemies. This cheat right here, but this is the the, the actual code right here: zero two zero zero four seven EC. Basically, you change this value right here to get different enemies. Now, this now most of the values from BF to FF will give you uh, the unused enemies. So that's basically what I'm doing here because I want to see what all the unused enemies are all about. Wine glass suddenly attacked. There's not even any music. Battling a wine glass. All right, broke the wine glass. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I'm not paying for it though. Got it. Alright, has the value FD, so let's see what we got here. Energy machine. Okay. Took him out. The background isn't tripping out, though. Alright, using the value F1 right here. I'm just choosing random values, but I actually did not want to do that. I wanted to do that. We have the emulation. There we go. What you got? Whoa! Sign suddenly attacked. And there's apparently also these backgrounds, apparently. Yeah, that is that is close in the background. Duster attack with blinding speed! Annihilated. But yeah, look at that background, for goodness sakes. That's, well, not really creepy, but still. Why is Klaus in the background? Okay, so here's basically how I put the cheats in. Let's try F2, then. Oh, wait, I didn't do that correctly. Oh, yes, I did. Sign suddenly attack, but once again, background's different. It looks even creepier now. 
forget it. Top Spec Omega. I don't want to watch this. Okay, anyway. Top Spec Omega. Alright then. How about I try, uh... How about I try F3 this time? This is basically where most of the unused stuff is, and it also looks as though where these creepy backgrounds come from as well. Unused... Unused battle backgrounds, for whatever reason. Empty suddenly attacked. Okay, there's not even anything there. We'll took him out. Alright, what about F4? Give me some more. Portrait suddenly attacked. Okay, these are some weird enemy names, anyway. Nothing there. But yeah, that's basically what, they're, what that is. There's some unused enemies for you. Okay. Actually, no, one more. How about EE? -E? We got a fish. Alright, well, kill the fish. Forget it. Now, I actually want to try something out here. Okay, I was apparently able to get Lucas, Kumatora, Duster, and Boney in here. Even though they don't actually appear in this part of the game, but... Yeah, okay, wow. It's apparently our maximum HP right there. Or maximum experience points, I should say. 606, so Duster has a bunch of HP. Yeah, let's... Yeah, this is basically the exact same thing, though, so... Yeah, Commander, please hurry here. We located the next needle. I already pulled that needle, for goodness sakes. Kinda late there, buddy. Alright, I guess because Kumator and Duster are not supposed to actually appear in this part of the game, I guess they don't move at all during the cutscenes, so I guess only Lucas and Boney, because they're the ones that are actually supposed to appear here. Camera's day off, it seems. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I broke the game. Yep, set this to zero. I'm literally not fighting anything. I just broke the game. Perfect. Now apparently some other cheat codes I found is actually character modifiers. As you can see, I'm actually playing as Flint here in... I think chapter 7. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Or wait, is this chapter 7? I don't even remember. Yeah, I think it is. But yeah, I'm basically playing as Flint here, as you can see, so I can actually do that. Because you can only play as Flint in Chapter 1, but... As you can see, it still thinks you're playing as Lucas, but it's a character modifier, so... You're playing as Flint, but the game thinks you're playing as Lucas, so yeah. It's kind of strange, but actually, does this work in battle, I wonder? Going up against the wall. Up against the wall, put your hands up. Yeah, it still thinks I'm playing as Lucas. So the only thing that changes is your sprite. But yeah, basically you can be playing as Flint in basically any chapter you want. Playing as a pig mass colonel. Very good. Yeah, so I actually get the play. Play as it, but apparently there's no running sprite for him though, but he just walks around faster, basically. It's incredible walking speed right there, if I do say so myself, but yeah. You could even play as Mr. Saturn, for goodness sakes. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Okay, apparently... Yeah, it's like he's swimming, almost. Apparently. But yeah, basically playing as Mr. Saturn right here. Now, the thing is, is that in order for the character modifier cheats to actually work, you need to go into a battle first. But then basically just run away from, from them if you can. And then you'll become that character you're playing as. But as you can see, I'm playing as Mr. Saturn right here. It's pretty good. And what are these guys doing? Okay, well, yeah. Uh-oh, something's going on with Duster. Yep, he, his entire body's deteriorating. Hey there. Duster attack with blinding speed. Annihilated. Let's just run. Okay, and Duster is still... Okay. Okay, well, what I was trying to do was try to get Duster to be a uh, pig mask as well. Pig mask captain, as you can see right here, but... Oh, this guy has a running sprite, though. Yeah, apparently the colonel doesn't. For whatever reason. But, okay. 
I was trying to turn du change Duster's sprite as well, but I guess he has to be in front. Otherwise, his sprite just becomes completely glitched. But yeah, there you go. You're playing as a pig mask, basically. Or at least maybe disguised as one. And you do actually have a running sprite, which I guess makes it better. And you can even play as a Mr. Saturn. The game still thinks you're playing as Lucas, though. Oh yeah, I know this part of the game. Oh yeah, he does have the sprite too as well, okay. So I guess playing as those characters instead would actually be, uh, would actually work out pretty well, I guess. Because they actually have walking sprites and ducking sprites and running sprites, so... Yeah, I guess, I guess that's pretty good overall then. So yeah, maybe I could even do another playthrough of Mother 3 where I'm just playing as a pig mask the entire game. Seems to work out pretty well because he has walking sprites, running sprites, ducking sprites. So yeah, I guess I guess that would work out pretty well then. Although the game still thinks you're playing as Lucas, of course, but still doesn't really matter. And wow, okay. Pony just got launched into the stratosphere right there. But yeah. That's basically what you can do. And apparently, I have... Yeah, okay, I've taken my mask off in order to talk to my fellow pig mask comrade, apparently. You know what? I actually never never saw what happened if you actually... Uh, if the Ultimate Chimera actually killed you. I want to see what happens there. Just, so just hold on a second. Wait a second. You were able to fight the pig mask captains here before? Well, or wait, how? How would you be fighting them? I didn't see them the last time. Okay. I guess because they noticed it was you. I guess you didn't have your pig mask uh, mask on, so they didn't. So they actually recognized who you were. Locker's empty anyway. Hmm. The cutscenes don't seem to be triggering, though. So probably the Ultimate Chimera is not even here now. Okay, we are stuck in the wall. Well, that is just amazing. And modifier thing is not even working. Well, this is interesting. Sumatora is just sliding across the ground. She's like the Gray Man in LSD Dream Emulator. She slides across the ground, just doesn't... Doesn't use her legs to move. And I can't even get in there. Oh. And I can't move. Wow. Game Breaker 9000. <clears throat> okay, anyway. That didn't work, apparently. So... Well, we got the Ultimate Chimera in here. Oh, hello. And you go in here. It breaks out. Now, I did actually put a save state here. I'm going to put a save state. Because I just want to see what happens. Hi. Okay. Apparently, he just eats me. Well, that is very interesting indeed. Alright, well. I guess that's why you have to be careful for him, then. Too bad there's no modifier that actually allows you to play as him. Oh, well. Or is there a modifier? I don't even remember. How you doing? Uh oh. So, yeah. It's kind of unfortunate though, so... Anyway, you know what, I think I am just going to uh, end this video off here, so, yeah. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. So that was basically the bug room and some cheats and whatnot, so yeah. Mainly just wanted to show you guys this because, well, I completed Mother 3, so... I thought it was just time to mess around maybe a little bit in the game, so... Yeah. Really, he doesn't see me. Hi. No, he, I don't think he wants to look at me, actually. So, yeah. That's basically what I wanted to show, but yeah. Mother 3 is now officially done after this video, then. So, yeah. That's pretty much all I wanted to show, so there you go. So, yeah, I'm just going to have fun messing around playing as a pig mask captain right here, so there you go. But that's it for now. So, this is Dr. Robotnik64. Thank you for watching. If you want, feel free to like or favorite this video or maybe subscribe. And also, feel free to follow me on Twitter as I post alerts about videos I've recently uploaded to there. The link to my Twitter account is in the description of all my videos, including this one, so yeah. But that's it for now, so I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Later.